well, I did spend a rather lovely summer a very, very long time ago in, in Morocco. And I liked the food and I liked the way that people served the food and it was on the streets and things like that. Some 20 or so years later, I walked into a building in Darlinghurst, which was later to become my restaurant, Fez. Had a massive palm tree in the middle and just it evoked Morocco and the Middle East. Cafe Mint is now 10 years old. People tend to come here and they'll have a little entree and a little main course for themselves. But it doesn't take too long before they get into the idea of sharing food and a lot of the things are able to be just put on the table and everybody can have a bit, just exactly as they would if they were eating in the Middle East. And I wanted to translate that onto the menu so that when people came to eat, they'd go, wow, isn't this interesting? It was taught to me by a Lebanese guy who said, this is what we have for breakfast, and it was absolutely delicious. And I said, oh, this is going on the menu, and it's never come off. Okay, today we're gonna make hummus. The chickpeas, they are soaked overnight and cooked till they become soft. I've separated the liquid. This is where a lot of the flavor is. Don't salt your chickpeas when you're cooking them. That will make them hard. We're going to start by adding some tahini. Cover the bottom of the bowl of the food processor. A tablespoon of chopped garlic. Give this a bit of a whiz. I'm going to add some lemon juice. You've now got a nice thick paste. So now we add our chickpeas, roughly four cups. Now I'm just going to process and add some liquid. Now we're starting to get a nice pale paste, nice and smooth, a little bit of salt, black pepper, a pinch of ground cumin. Slowly emulsify this by adding olive oil. And there is hummus, lovely and creamy. Okay, now we have this. We're gonna to move to having a look at something to put on top of this. What we're going to start with, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, saute two or three tablespoons of finely chopped onion. And just as soon as that softens, about three or four cloves of chopped garlic. Add our lamb. Now we've actually got some colour onto the lamb and now is the time to start spicing. A tablespoon of ground black pepper because that's one of the major flavours we want. Now this is sometimes called marash or Aleppo pepper. It's a really lovely hot but sweet chilli. A good tablespoon ground cumin, we're going to add a level tablespoon of that. A little bit of dried mint, a teaspoon. Some ground allspice. Again, we're going to do about a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon of paprika gives it a lovely color. At this stage, I would normally drop the temperature, just let it simmer for a good half an hour. Watch it turn into something about the consistency of a bolognese sauce. To complete it, we add a sprinkle of pine nuts, a pinch of what I call Lebanese spice mix, very similar to garam masala. So now's the time to add pomegranate molasses. It gives it a, a really fascinating tang. That after about half an hour of cooking, the natural juices have come out. Take your beautiful hummus, give yourself a nice well, sprinkle it with sumac, which is a nice lemony spice, a little bit of olive oil. Now we're going to put our spoon of hot spicy lamb mince and we'll top this with a delicious mix of pomegranate onions, cooked long and slow till they're really sweet, with a few more pine nuts, a pinch of chopped parsley, and then finally we're going to take a little bit of toasted Turkish bread and some za'atar, and voila, there's our breakfast. Lamb mince with hummus, pine nuts, and za'atar toast.